I selected two questions to answer from the viewers. First one is, Dear Stumpy, what's the difference between hardwood and softwood? I think my high school shop teacher explained it best. He said that hardwoods, well, they tend to be hard. While on the other hand, your softwoods, they tend to be soft. But like just about everything they teach you in school, that turned out to be a filthy lie. You see, pines can be as hard as some maples. While despite being technically a hardwood, balsa is actually second only to the Detroit Lions defense on the softness scale. It's really not about the hardness at all. It's about the seeds. Trees that produce seeds inside some sort of covering like a fruit or a shell are considered hardwoods. Trees that produce regular seeds are considered softwoods. Pine cones don't count as shells, but they are high in fiber. It's also true that hardwoods generally lose their leaves in the winter. While softwoods, well, they're usually cut down in the winter, crammed into people's homes to dry out, covered in lights and gaudy ornaments. Question number two. Dear Stumpy, wood is so expensive. How can I find a good deal? Well, I find that the best place to look for wood is in a tree. So the first thing I do is go searching for one of those. I have three giant maple trees out in my front yard, and more than once I've considered cutting at least a couple of them down. I mean, they don't change color in the fall. What good is a maple tree that doesn't change color in the fall? Anyway, you don't have to cut down a tree necessarily to harvest a little bit of wood. I got some great wood from a big limb that fell out of my tree and onto my neighbor's cat just this past summer. And don't forget about firewood. Every time I see someone throw a log into a fireplace, I die a little bit inside. Because some of the most beautiful wood I've ever used was intended to be firewood. True story. In 2008, I bought a giant slab of wood from a guy who cut down a maple tree in his front yard. This tree was enormous. I can't imagine how many board feet were in it. Anyway, he cut it all up for firewood, except this big 18 inch thick, four foot diameter slice from the trunk that I was gonna use to make, I don't know, something. Anyway, it sat out in my yard for like five years before I finally just split it up into chunks to get it out of the way. Turns out when I split it up and threw it on the bandsaw, I found out that it was almost entirely tiger maple highly figured stuff. That tree was probably worth more than the guy's entire house, and he burnt it. The point is, if you have a bandsaw, you can get all the small stock that you need by splitting firewood down into manageable chunks, ripping it on your saw, and then flatten it with a good hand plane. Well, that's it for Ask Stumpy. If you got any questions for me, email me at stumpynubs at runbox.com, and we'll see you next time.